Margaret Culver, Speedy Care Fashion Network. All right, those of you guys can hear, we got a lot of noise in the background. We got the inflatable booth back up. So I got my banged up 2015 Honda Civic with us. As I, as I said in the last video, got this car on a super steel. It's only got 79,000 miles on. The rest of the paint is in pretty good condition. I could probably buff it. I might end up painting the whole car in the future. We'll see. But I figured, hey, I got an inflatable paint booth. Why don't we go the slight extra mile, even though I wasn't picky on the body work, I wasn't picky on the prep work. Let me use the tools that I have available to me and let me see if I can get just that much better of a finish. This system is from Swimfla. It's the best of the best. It's got the elephant duck. Uh, it's got the two 950 watt blowers. I got an upgraded two horsepower blower for the vent. And then this wasn't included. This is a, uh, I guess, 10,000 CFM, something like that, suction fan. As I said on my previous video, this is the closest thing to a real spray booth. Gonna be honest with you, anything else besides this, not even worth it. So let's get back in the booth with the swim flow spray booth. Delivered pretty good results the first time we used it. I'm expecting pretty good results the second time. Let's load some paint, give this thing a try. Due to inflation and uh, everything going up in cost, I've been cheaping out a little bit lately. Been uh, going with the SMR 1150, and I just want to let you guys know, those of you guys that want to be cheap, this is not a bad option. Now we're gonna go with one whack and tack, and then we're gonna do two full wet coats, and uh, see what it looks like. I think it's gonna look amazing. Uh, the SMR 1150 never lets me down. Uh, for, so I think it's like 69 bucks on the site, or 74 bucks on Amazon. Stuff is amazing. Alright, so to those of you guys that are confused as far as the term I use, whack and tack, and then full wet coat, basically that's a term used to describe how, uh, applying the clear coat in a very kind of light to, light to medium manner, the very first coat. You know, you're not getting like a full wet coat, you're just getting barely enough clear coat to provide a full seal over the base coat. And then the second coat, as you guys can see, I'm hammering it on really nice and wet. Now I find with the SMR 1150, this is the best way to use this, this particular clear coat. I do one really light coat, make sure it's a full seal. You don't want any, any base coat showing um, when you do your whack attack. And then the second coat, you know, you let it flash off, let it set up really good. And then you come up and you do a second, you know, really, really wet coat. And I find that that's just enough 
product to make it come out really, really good and make it have a really nice shine. It's got some trash in it. I think that's trash because this hood was repainted before. I think I just didn't sand it out well enough. And that's trash that was in the previous paint job. Um, but it's got, you know, it's got some imperfections. But stand back five feet, looks great, all right? This is not a freaking McLaren. This is not a Ferrari. I mean, this is a newer Honda Civic. I would consider this an acceptable finish for a newer Honda Civic. So we're gonna pull the fender in. We're actually gonna pull the whole car in. I'm not gonna pull the fender off that car. It'll take me 20 minutes to pull it off when I could just take five minutes to mask, you know, throw a sheet of plastic over the whole car, mask it up, done. One hour later. Talk about precision, guys. Down to the last drop of paint. Where's my paint gun at? Look at this, look at this. I had to throw a little bit of reducer <laughs> in my PPS cup just to get a last little tiny bit of coverage on this fender. I knew I was gonna possibly run out of paint. I was like, Marco, I cannot believe you are a professional painter. You did not get the amount of paint you needed. I was literally ashamed of myself. I had fender, eh. A little orange peel on the base coat, not too crazy about it. I'm just trying to slap this car together, guys, and just get it on the road, shiny, all in one piece. So, let's get some clear mixed up. We're gonna clear these things, call it a night. not perfect a couple dust specks in the front I didn't actually sand this fender the only part I sanded was the I did a little bit of body work in here which also did not turn out perfect it's a little wavy don't really care um, the rest of this I just scuff padded so like I said this car had been painted before hood fender um, and also this store has been repainted before the back door has been repainted it's had some hands in it I wasn't too picky with this job so a couple dust specks here and there not bad, but um, I mean, the finish was the finish is pretty good. Fender didn't turn out too bad. I thought this wasn't going to turn out that all that good because the base coat had a lot of orange peel in it, but this actually turned out pretty acceptable. Pretty nice finish. Got our pillar that we painted here. Nice little uh, nice little blend. Might run a little bit of polish over that by hand, but not bad. All right, so second time using the inflatable spray booth, I gotta say, I'm pretty hooked. This thing really does put out like a good professional spray booth quality finish. I'm gonna be honest, you guys know I'm in the, I'm in the auto body field. I'm not gonna name any names, I'm not gonna call anybody out, but I have seen some other local body shops work. Let me tell you something, they're all getting dust in their work. I've seen dust, I saw a bumper, the other week that had like 20 fish eyes in it. I mean, it was it was atrocious. So just because them boys out there got them $100,000 paint boosts, don't mean they're gonna beat the rednecks in their backyard with these little, uh, you know, wing wang inflatable spray boosts. We can definitely kick some butt with these things. If I honestly actually cared on this project, I mean, this would look 10 times better. If I actually took the time Sanded this fender with eight of uh, 600 grit, 800 grit, 
um, actually cleaned it more than one. I did one wipe with with, with water-based pre-clean, not even wax and grease remover. If I actually really cared, I could have gotten a glass finish. I mean, I, I could get this thing to look as good as a brand new Ferrari if I wanted to in this paint booth. But simple matter is, guys, you know, just like a professional fighter, you're not going to throw your all of your energy into every single punch. It's one of them jobs. I wanted to look. I wanted it to look acceptable. I wanted it to look clean, better than a cheap Mako paint job, but somewhere in the middle. And uh, you know, the speed of coat's cheap is clear. The SMR 1150, and we got a pretty good job. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe. New videos every.